in today's session we will be seeing about the block diagram of your digital computer okay so we live in the age of computers we will see what are the basic functional diagrams that make up a computer so if you go on to your block diagram you can see five blocks which are inherently present inside your pc okay they are nothing but input unit okay it is input unit is nothing but keyboard by which you give the instructions to the computer okay so and inside your pc you have these three units okay which are responsible for carrying out your various processes it is your arithmetic and logic unit a memory unit and a control unit and whatever the calculations or the processes you want to execute that is executed and it is shown via output unit that is nothing but your monitor usually okay so now we'll just see on each and every block diagram first of all what is a computer computer it is nothing but it is a hardware so which just manipulates the data as per our application and it makes decision accordingly so as a individual what we have to do we have to make clear give the clear instructions to the computer to do what we want right so these set of instructions are called as programs step by step instructions what you give and as a result what is the result you expect from the computer so we give the instructions in the form of a program okay now we will see each and every unit what are its functions when i say it has a input unit input unit is nothing but it is going to give the instructions and the data okay whatever is your instructions if i want to type a letter a okay that is my instruction so whatever is my input instruction that i'll be giving it here or if i want to add two numbers a plus b then i'll give a as 3 and b as 2 okay so this information and the instruction and the data it is going to be stored in the memory unit okay it is just a way to give your input data and instructions input unit next we will move on to your memory unit what is a memory unit it stores the data okay either suppose any arithmetic logical operations we have perform is that results will be stored in the memory unit so as and when required depending upon the control signal received it will be transferred to the output okay so we have seen these things now we will move on to the next thing what is the memory unit okay so the memory unit purpose it is used to this memory unit stores the output operation whatever is the data which is obtained the results that it will be outputting to your final unit now we will move on to your control unit control unit what is the instructions which comes from your memory unit you can just see the arrow mark so whatever the instructions it comes from your control unit depending upon that a control action suitable control action to be taken so it just from whatever the instructions received from the memory unit based on that it either uh, specifies to your input unit or to your arithmetic unit or to your output depending upon the logic it received so control unit it takes the instruction from the memory unit and then it sends to all the other units which are under concern here you should be clear when i put a dotted arrow it is your flow of information okay so the st straight lines are the flow of information whatever is a dotted arrow is a flow of the timing and control signal okay this timing and control signal so where is the flow of the information whether it go it has to go to the input unit or it has to go to the alu or it has to go to the output unit which is shown by the dotted lines okay now the next thing is your alu all the arithmetic and logical decisions whatever you want to do that will be taken care of in the arithmetic and logic unit okay and after that after the results have been performed in alu it will send the result to your memory unit now the results are stored in your memory unit then comes the picture of your output unit then what will be the function of your output unit it takes the data from the memory and it presents to the output either your output can be a printer hard copy if you want or it could be a display okay so these are the five units arithmetic logic unit memory unit control unit associated with your input unit usually a keyboard or a mouse and associated with the output unit monitor finishes your block diagram of your digital computer so in the next session so we will be seeing about what are the differences between the micro macro and the mainframe computers thank